Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In my previous video, I have told you that I will make a series about SDSM software by which we will predict our future climatic conditions. So in our video, I will discuss about rainfall data and temperature data. So before starting that, we have to maintain some procedure for that. So uh, first step, we need some software. Uh, first of all, SDSM software. Second, Microsoft Excel, third, Notepad++. And uh, in my previous video, I have shown you how can you download SDSM software from its website, I mean original software. And uh, then after uh, download that, we need Microsoft Excel and also we need Notepad++ to make this data in dart file i mean uh, in sdsm software he only accept dart file as the uh, default file it should be dart so in this video i'll show you how can you make dart file for sdsm software and before that i will show you how can you download notepad plus plus before that let's see my intro Before downloading Notepad++, uh, you have to open any kinds of browser that your favorite. Uh, then search not in Note PID Notepad++. Enter, and you will find a website to download Notepad++. Click here, and you can choose any version from here. Uh, uh, this is the latest version, so I prefer to download that. Go below and from here install and one thing ensure that your operating system if your operating system 32 bit then download from here and if your operating system 64 bit then download from here I'm showing you how can you ensure about that go your properties PC properties and then see here system type it's 64 bit operating system as my pc system is 64 bit so i'll download from here install click here installer wait for some time and download that as i have Notepad++ already installed in my PC, so I not install. Uh, you have to install Notepad++ and then you will get a icon like that. And after installing SDSM software, you will get an icon like that. After that, we need some data for analysis first of all you have to collect your rainfall or temperature data from your metro meteorological department in your country and then you have to collect it after collecting your data you have to process that in that file so before processing uh, in that file let's see you here I have a data from my country it's Chittagong sector I mean Chittagong station and here let me jump. here we'll find that this is showing here I have collect my data from 2001 to 2015 I mean I'm predicting a uh, future climatic condition using year data and this line representing month and this line representing day of the month and here is the data so 
after collecting your data from any station i mean which station you, you want to predict about that so you have to collect that from your meteorological department and then if your data i mean this is the line of month one two three four if your data in horizontal row then you have to make it vertical okay. so to make this cut again so as uh, you have to take your data in vertical uh, position that's why you have to open another excel file i am opening here another excel file here excel open it and copy your data and ensure that the first month i mean january of 2001 will be the first value and last value will be the ma month december of 2015 then copy value from here be careful to copy that in january the number of month is 31 sorry in january the number of days is 31 so copy that and go to the another excel file and paste here in trans transfers way or in vertically so for that you will get it here if you click here you will get transpose uh, if your excel version is updated otherwise you have to go paste special and you will get here here the transports you have to paste here again copy that and copy and open your notepad plus plus notepad plus plus so in notepad plus plus paste here here the 31 the value is 31 and after that save it save save it a fixed folder where you want to put it I'm going to put it desktop I have made a file before SDSM and then and give it name as my center name is Chittagong so I will give it short name C T Z minimum temperature and always ensure that if uh, as you want to save it as a dot file so dot then d a t dot dot d a t dot and then save it your file have saved in those folder so don't cut it and again go to your excel file and copy the next month data here is the next month data as the february month will be in 28 days except dpr month copy it and go to other excel file and again paste it here in transverse way and then again copy it copy it and again go in plus plus 
and better in this way I can save it uh, again go to here you know file the month of March be careful select your data copy it go to another excel file paste it as transverse transpose way and copy it again go to notepad plus plus and paste save it in this way you have to copy and paste full data which have collected and the limitation about that who is want to who is you want to predict as I have made that before I'll not make it again I'll cut it cancel cancel don't save cancel and here is my data CTG new temperature here is the data see that here my wall data I have saved it like that and how can you be ensure that the whose data you have collected or copied from your excel file is ok here so you have to see this value my total number of data is or day is 5478 5478 so I'm going to take it open a calculator and as my year is 15 so let's see let me calculation and we all know that the except leap year 365 days in a year so as my 15 into 365 here 5875 and um, from 2000 on to 2015 there have three leap year I mean 2004 2008 and 2012 yeah so for that you have to add another three days for that here we all know that after four year uh, we get a leap year so here my total day is 5478 so 5478 just meant that my data is ok so copy here and close that so after saving your data you will get it in types of dot file here type of dot file then we need one thing I'm saying there have also my rainfall data of Chittagong and maximum temperature data of Chittagong and minimum temperature data of Chittagong. So every data I have managed it in the same manner. Chittagong rainfall data and maximum temperature data of Chittagong. Here is the maximum data of Chittagong. You can see one thing. Here, four five seven eight. Number of this four five seven eight. Cut it. My dot file is ready. After that, we need another file. It's called a predicted file, as it is very difficult to find in internet uh, for this predicted file. So I'll give you uh, the link below to download. You can download it. So to download this predicted file. Uh, this click the link given in below and go here and you'll get the box 033x 422y rar file download here download it
and open where have you download it and copy that and get everything good and obviously in the folder where you are going to saving your all data you have to paste it here so paste here and as I have already here this data so I'm not going to paste it. and then finally you have to extract that data extract as a file extract data and copy that it in here also I have paste it here I have my data here so I'll not paste it here so when your data data file is ready predict and data is ready then you are also ready to analysis your data using SDSM software so thank you very much uh, uh, before starting the next proce procedure uh, you have to process this data like that way and uh, in next video we will start how can you analyze different types of data using SDSM software so thank you again